to give me strength. Pearl Wenjack remembers the day her brother Chani's body arrived home on a float plane. She was eight years old. I started off uh, very small. Uh, I swore that I would uh, do something about it uh, the day that he died. Chani had been taken to residential school, 600 kilometers away. He ran away and froze to death, trying to find his way back to his family. He was 12. Here we are, 50 years later, and the story is as good as, as it ever was. Journalist Ian Adams wrote The Lonely Death of Charlie Wenjack for McLean's magazine in 1967. It's going to take several generations. But we have to confront it, we have to deal with it, because it is ours. He always wanted to be home. He never wanted to go to school. A few That's years ago, I made a radio documentary with Ian and Pearl, both frustrated but determined to have Chani's story more widely known. Gord Downey's brother, Mike, heard it. And it just, it just struck such a chord. I, my son, Will, was 12 at the time. I told Gord that the story that I'd heard uh, from your doc that evening, and we immediately just said, we got to find a way to tell this story. Stranger. Gord Downey wrote 10 poems that became an album that became a graphic novel, The Secret Path. That was before he found out he had terminal brain cancer. Suddenly, Downey's work became much more urgent, and the songs he sings about Chani Wenjack more haunting. It's strange in a way. I mean, Gord sings the songs in first person. He sings about dying in the last song. It's, it was always powerful to me. And after the diagnosis, I want to say it changed, but in some ways it didn't. You know, I was just like, I can't believe that these two lives have intersected in this way. They had already intersected. On a secret path. Gord, uh, from my, uh, you know, a brother from another mother, that's what they said. <laughs> that's how we, we refer him now. And somehow, by becoming family, the shared tragedy among the Wenjacks and the Downies is turning into shared hope. The Downey Wenjack Foundation is raising money to foster relationships between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. For some, it's a model of what reconciliation could be. Once the community of uh, literature, I think, generally is engaged, and then it becomes embedded in the and the character and the memory of the country even more than any commission report could ever be. The work with the Wenjacks, tonight's concert, and one later this week on Friday, are giving two families reason to look forward. This is beyond a legacy project. This is something that we hope is going to change things for a very long time. For the first time in a very long time, since an eight-year-old girl lost her 12-year-old brother, Pearl Wenjack sees change on the horizon. When uh, Mike and Gord contacted me, you know, that's when the explosion came in with uh, being on a national basis. And I always had wanted to be, uh, you know, to, come, to bring this to a, to a national basis. And there is no That story is, grief needs to be shared for the healing to begin. Jody Porter, CBC News, Ottawa.